How you doing, everybody? Oliver Joyce here from Whiskey Barrel Studios with another Swords and Sandals 6 developer update. And I'm not going to lie, this one is not a particularly exciting one. I actually sort of went backwards and forwards on whether I should even bother doing a video this week. But, you know, consistency is the key to progress and getting things done. And uh, it helps me as, as much as it informs you to get these videos out as it sort of uh, forces me into little milestones. I think last week I said I was going to do something really exciting this week, like blood splatters and sound effects and stuff like that. It didn't happen. Um, besides getting the uh, COVID vaccination shot, I'm a super soldier, immune to everything now, uh, which, you know, took up my Wednesday. Uh, the rest of the week was taken up by something not as exciting. Um, it was uh, loading and saving of gladiators. Great! Wow, what a what a good exciting things to make a video about. But you know, uh, without being able to save your gladiator, uh, this becomes a permadeath game. You get one shot and then it's over. So it is a pretty dull thing to work on, but it's uh, paramount to um, getting the game complete. And I had to go through a, a few hoops with the uh, Godo game engine to get the gladiators loading and saving. But I'm going to show you now the load um, and save or the loading gladiator panel just to sh prove to you that it's actually there. So let's jump over. Well, here it is. This is our uh, loading panel here. This is, in fact, uh, a panel that comes up off the title screen. So ignore the logo. This is a it's a placeholder logo that I sort of put together in Photoshop. Uh, the final logo will be a lot more um, grand than that. But, uh, you know, you could get away with that. It's not terrible. Uh, of course, we have the, the shiny roll buttons that I showed you last week. Uh, a lot of people said, cool, I like the little flashes. It's, it's actually back from Swords and Sandals 2, I believe, had those. Um, we've got a credit box, too, I can show you. Um, some credits there. And um, But what I wanted to show you today is, yeah, the load panel. You can scroll up and down with your mouse. It's in a nice little bar. You can even use your mouse wheel if you want. Uh, that's one of the cool things about Godo is it has some really cool UI tricks. I got a bunch of gladiators that I've saved here. Um, this human gladiator will be replaced by um, their actual class. And your class will be put together uh, automatically. So once you put a bunch of points into strength and more than everything else, you'll be a warrior. Or if you put points into agility more than anything else, you'll be classified as a rogue. These are just things that I put in there just so you can kind of tell at a glance what kind of gladiator you're facing so you know they're, they're they're not binding you know you can still play like a wizard but just have more points in strength you know but we'll figure that out as we go um you can see there's an automaton and undead there sagan blood each character in fact has uh their own random name generator as well so if you're a floralist you'll have um plants having names like um the suspicious skunk weed there <laughs> And, you know, Yipocles, there's a bunch of different weird Sagan blob names like Blip Blop and, you know, Moopy Bloopy kind of stuff like that. Yipocles is a funny one. Um, different humans from different parts of the world have also different names. Like you might have a, a sort of more Irish sounding name from certain parts. Or more. Uh, there are Polish names and Czech names and um, Portuguese names and different. I've tried to put lots of different ones from this. He goes, uh, Mitsukyo is one from somewhere. Um and the automatons have some pretty cool names as well, which are a mixture of um, you know, letters, numbers, and cool-sounding robotic terms. Anyway, what you see over here, I've actually put in the game, but I've hidden it from you because I don't want to show you the gladiators yet. But you're going to see a portrait of your gladiator in the corner here. So at a glance, you can kind of go, oh, yeah, that's what it looks like. And that updates as you put helmets on and stuff like that. Um, it actually saves it to a little PNG file, so you'll be able to use that as your... Uh, avatar and other programs as well which is i think kind of nice all right so i'm not going to load the gladiator because um i don't want to show you the rest of the game but um if we click on delete you i have created this little panel there that sort of takes over the screen you go do you really want to delete this gladiator yes or no if we click yes he's gone and you'll hear a little scream or something uh, we could go let's delete this one as well you notice it updates up oh, it deleted it stopped uh, weirdly enough that one threw an error because um, 
it was an invalid gladiator idea i'm still working through the bugs on that but it's it's 90 percent working now and i'm pretty happy with that and it actually loads and saves your gladiator and all their inventory all their skills and everything um you'll be able to save when you quit um speaking of quit and so on um the settings screen has been updated as well uh a few more options you can hide helmets someone suggested the option to hide helmets on and off um if you want to show um the pictures when you equip that kind of stuff you'll see that in the game of course the game volume is there there's a quit button here now and if you click that do you really wish to flee the arena and quit the game yes or no we're not going to do that plus your regular effects i'm still going to be updating this settings as we go along which is pretty exciting anyway there we have it um next week i'm actually going to uh maybe do a poll because i've got a few names that i want to run by you for the tagline for the game i've come up with sort of four or five but i'd like to do a poll uh most probably on twitter and you know and maybe on multiple sources and i would love to have your feedback on what you think might be a good tagline for the game um because you know it's key you know when i say tagline i mean like swords and sandals 2 was emperor's reign and swords and sandals 3 was gladiator ultratus Sword and Sandals 4 was Tavern Quest. Sword and Sandals 5 was Grail of Antares. So what's this one going to be? Um, yeah, I've got a few that I've come up with, but I'd love to have your feedback on whether you like them. So probably in the next video, uh, I'm going to run this little poll as well. And um, when I put the logo together, that's going to be in that poll, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, by the way, unlimited gladiators. Yes, you can save and load as many gladiators as you want or as you have hard disk space for. Each save file only takes up, you know, 5, 10K. It's not big, not big at all. And, um, yeah, so in the past I've limited that, but uh, as many as you as you choose. So you can really go through and try different builds and stuff like that. All right, my friends. Hey, it's been a pretty exciting week um, in other news with things like um, E3 just starting. Have you seen the trailer for Elden Ring? Um, I'm a big Dark Souls, Demon Souls fan, and... Damn, that looks incredible. Seeing uh, the um, Miyazaki, G.R.R. Martin combination, it's this kind of, go and check the trailer out now on YouTube. It's almost a mix between sort of Breath of the Wild meets Dark Souls and with the classic sort of nightmare looking creatures in a high fantasy world. And that's coming out in January. Hopefully uh, not at the same time as uh, Sword and Sandal 6 because, you know, we don't want to compete. But... I can't wait for that. I love those games. I'm actually playing through Demon Souls now on my PlayStation 5, um, you know, just sort of very late at night when I get a bit of time, um, when everyone's asleep. You know, just, um, yeah, it's nice to play games again. I didn't get to play them as often as I could. Uh, the other thing I saw this morning was the uh, Masters of the what? Universe trailer, the new He-Man one. It just, damn, looks so cool. Uh, they've really nailed that classic 80s aesthetic. And, of course, Swords and Sandals was very much inspired by He-Man, so... If you're a fan of Sword and Sandals and the silliness of it and everything, uh, and you don't know much about He-Man and Master of the Universe, uh, it's awesome. And I'm a big fan, as uh, long-time viewers of the channel will know. And that series comes out on Netflix next month. So cool, check it out. Anyway, uh, it's a long weekend here in Australia, so I won't be doing um, any more work until Tuesday. Um, I hope you all have a brilliant weekend. It's freezing here in Australia. It's snowed in Sydney and it never does that. So that's something um, something to be, you know, <laughs> pretty remarkable. Uh, if you like this channel and if you enjoy um, the videos, of course, hit the red button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, my friends. Uh, let me, while you th let me know what you think of the game in the comments and where it's going and I read all your suggestions and they really are um, do make a difference and I'm trying to implement them as we go. Until next time, bye for now.